Recon Heart, Cybernetic Shell, and Second Wind 1. I'll take the Second Wind, guys. That is gonna be cozy. I actually started with only one item, guys. How scuffed is that? <laughs> oh, that is a little bit scuffed. But I have a ton of gold as a compensation. And I have a duplication device. I am heavily leaning into my favorite zero brain cells required comp. Which is, of course, some good old Riven, uh, not Riven, Renekton and Ash reroll. Only one guy seems to be leaning into it so far. Only one guy seems to be leaning into it. Maybe this guy as well. I right, will see, we'll see, we'll see. Only one guy seems to be actually leaning into it. So let's just check it out. Let's just see what happens. She's gonna get the crit, no matter what, right? It's always gonna be a last whisper on her. I think it's not as strong now. What, the, the Ash reroll? Oh, don't worry about it, man. It is still a cozy top four. I will not... I will not say no to a cozy top four, man. Just because Zed destroys Ash. That is true, yeah. Zed does destroy Ash. Uh, that is the main counter matchup. But you just jumble her up in the corner, man. And if the Zed didn't high roll and you have a duplicator and you can get at least five three stars, he will melt. At least from my experience so far. Could be extremely wrong. Also, we're just, we're just going for infinite econ anyway. Uh, I will never level anyway, right? So keeping our option... Guys, by the way, I don't know if this is called what they call scoliosis here. But you know what? I like it, man. Holy, what is this, bro? Yo, right games, man. Anyway, um, I don't need to level up, right? I don't need to level up anyway, because I only have one item component. So always the best even as even with just two item components the best thing to do usually most cases is to just accept your fate and lost three because you already have so much gold you can build up even more gold you can build up infinite gold and then you will get the items later you will get more items at Krogs. this is how the game works if you get no items at the start only one item component two item one item component is very rare man but two item components happen sometimes you will have a lot more money and that will be cozy, man. I'm telling you. That will be good for you. Not a big deal. Do you think Brawler is better than playing a 2-star? 1.4k health. 1.2k... Nah, it's not. It's not for sure not. It's for sure not better, man. I buy all the green and grey units to thin out the pool. Yeah. I literally tried to fast forward because I thought it was a YouTube video, Lamau. Exposing that you fast forward are King's YouTube videos. Weird chant. Guys, everybody should find himself a girlfriend as protective as Trendu is of me. What a great guy, guys. What a great guy. Ooh, Trendu, you thought I would I would diss you again, right? You thought I was gonna I was gonna roast you for no reason again, like I usually do. But nope. Nope. Not this time. Oh my, he has so many... So many good old... Good old boys. I'm looking for the bow. Second pick here. Three cost bow. Bow can never go wrong. Can never be bad. Not gonna pop the last whisper yet. Just gonna chill. New favorite TFT streamer. Thank you, Mr. Maneater. Thank you, man. Glad you're having fun here. Alright, guys. So, listen. We need to get some more ashes. If we don't get more ashes, we are not going to play this. Right? So, we need to see whether we will get more ashes. Um, I'm going to keep the bow here. I will have a lot of money. It really depends on what I'll get, man. As an next augment and stuff as well. Really depends. Laser core augment. 
I'm just gonna chill. I mean, these guys are so strong. I, I can't... I, even if I put Last Whisper, I'm not gonna win a single fight. Which is, again, fine. We're going for the full loss streak. We didn't lose that much health so far because we won the first one with a little bit of luck. The other guy was a little bit weak. You can't see my health bars. It's just a bug. The next fight will have the health bars again. Just what happens sometimes. Just had a golden ticket and trade sector game and I never hit my 3 stars so easily. Got everything 3 star for Ash by 4-2. That is sick. That is sick. People shy. I added people shy. Yeah. Do you see all the 7 TV emotes I added, guys? Do you see all of that? I guess nobody's using 7 TV, right? Because it's like a, per a third party thing and I don't know. Anyway, guys, I bought a lot of Shungite. What? <laughs> anyway, guys. Ooh. I mean, that is not enough of these little boys, man. I need more of these little boys, right? That is not enough, man. XDD, Rat Jam, Susi, Clueless, Dies of Ayaya, Pepega Aim, Wicked, Concerned, Nerdge, People Shy, Okega, Donk Jam. That's that's all of them. I think so. Are you happy with these? Is this a good collection? Guys, the best one is Concern. You should always put Concern when I talk about Fee. What? Huh? I, mean, I don't know why people should be concerned with that. Is that. Where is Sad here? We are never sad here. Right, guys? We're never sad. <laughs> right, guys? Right? Donk Jam for a channel that never plays any music. Concerned. Listen, it's just cool, man. Donk Jam is just good. It's just a funny emote, man. Okie dokie. Okay, I really didn't get any ashes and stuff, right? So I'm not gonna reroll these these mother truckers, am I? Oh, honestly, do I lose this? Probably not, just because it's uh, two two stars. Um. So this guy has a bunch of, but he has a last whisper on this. He still might play Ash. He still might play Ash. This guy moved away from Ash. This guy is definitely not playing Ash. He already leveled and stuff. He had the full win streak. He has the Ginsu's though. There's only one guy that might be contesting me for Ash. Oh, I just got a Ginsu's. I just got a Ginsu. Okay, if there's two Ashes in this shop, I'm sending it. We're playing some Ashy. What is he going to do, man? I mean, we have to roll here if we play Ash. I have a Ginsu's. Ah, I'm doing it, boy. I'm doing it. I'm committing, guys. Frick it. Frick it. Yes. Let's go. Give me more, baby. Yes. Alright, we're doing it. Try but go Hodge. I probably have to go Hodge. Oh, I could bounce it off. I can go Thieves Glove. Thieves Glove is low-key good. Just give it to just give it to Yasu or something. Alright, hero augment, hero augment, gonna be laser core, gonna be... Okay, never mind, no hero augment. Should we just take battle mage? Battle mage is pretty fine. I think I'll just take battle mage, battle mage is okay. Benefits everybody except for Ash. What should we do? Don't you slam the last whisper? The Ginsu's is much more important. Much more important. I have six ashes. I'm in a pretty good spot. No? I'm in quite the good spot. I should play this instead. Let me just check. This was the guy that was playing Ash, right? Potentially. He just got a brawler thing. Was this the guy? He was the guy, right? He he leveled to 7. 
what an what a gigantic giga chat excuse me my my food is uh trying to get up again not really but like you know bur burping burping what anyway guys that's a great loss one loss one unit loss great guys i think we're chilling man i'm not contested how am i never contested with this comp i mean i do make sure i'm not contested but this time the guy could have contested me but he decided to level like a chad so i, I appreciate that i oh, just stay at 50 now we have so many of them losing a little bit more doesn't really hurt right now and then just commit man i might even roll down to zero because i have so many ashes if i roll down to zero i can win streak if I hit 3-star Ash, which I probably should, everybody so is selling their Ashes now. They were Some people were using Ash as a build-up comp. And then they're selling it. Alright, so I'm thinking about the Thieves Glove. It's not that bad, because honestly, I would prefer a Giant Slayer on Ash. I prefer Giant Slayer and Death Blade or something. Or even Giant Slayer and Hurricane. But it depends on the remaining items. Let's see what we get here. What's the best item I can get? Probably just Last Whisper. But Last Whisper Hodge is zero damage. Right? What do you think, guys? Is Last Whisper Hodge fine? Does anybody know? Hodge on Yasuo or Nah? Definitely a Nah. Definitely a Nah. Only a Thieves Glove would be possible on Yasuo. But then I have a tier that doesn't do anything, right? I can go Redemption. I, I think I should go Redemption. Ie is terrible, man. Ie is terrible. She can already crit. Ie is the worst here. I think I'll just go for a bow, man. Let's go Last Whisper. Last Whisper is gonna be fine. You kinda need Death Blade for damage. I don't think so. You definitely need either Giant Slayer or Last Whisper to kill tanks. Like, you need one of them. And then the last item... A Giant Slayer is fine as another item here. It really is. But a Death Blade is also very good. I think I'll think I'll go for this, man. This is too good. And then we have a Hodge. If I go Hodge here, I have zero damage, right? I just won, so Loki, I just wanna I wanna dig a little bit deeper here. big because since I just won I can hard win streak now oh this guy has that's a Talia guys that's really strong he's full magic damage against my battle mage second wind is nice though man second wind feels great all right cool I should play this Well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Nah, I should play this instead of Duelist. I think Duelist, no diff. Brawler, much better. We need Frontline for Ash to do damage. <laughs> is Ash without the Augment any good? Yeah, it is, it is. Which is kind of stupid, right? But it really is good. Okay, we pair these guys together because this guy gives attack speed when he shields somebody. So that's gonna be dank. Now we just chill, right? Now we just chill. <laughs> Not bad. Second wind, with Battle Mage complements Ash so well. Yeah, it does. It really does. Your front line will hold longer. Yep. It really does. So I don't have the Ash hero augment, but it fits the comp still really well. <laughs> Guys, I'm I'm just playing this all day. I love this comp, man. I you know what, man? Remember how I was always flaming these people that only play the same comp? Listen, man, you know what? You know what, guys? We're best friends now. You guys are cool. Play the same comp. It's like one tricking a champion in a in League of Legends. That's what I did as well. I have 1,000 Ezreal games. I what? Of course I'm gonna one trick my favorite boy. Oh my god, man! I would love to play some tricks on him to catch my drift, man. That Ezreal. Oh my. Oh my, guys. Anyway, guys, I was watching some Blue Lock today again, and bro, that that I'll keep it a stack, guys. Ezreal and you know, like I, I really like women. But guys, that Chigiri guy, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, honestly, if you... You know what they say with... If you have, um... 
if you have friends, if you have friends like that, do you even need enemies, you know, when you have like a bad friend? Bro, if you have a boy like that, do you even need women? Let's keep it a buck, guys. Let's keep it a buck arena, stack arena with you, man. What? There we go, guys. Oh, look at this. Look at these airdrops, man. The boys are coming in. That means I have to pop this right now, no? Oh, redemption? Don't mind if I do. That means I have to pop this right now, right? Because I don't have room. Duelist is good, no? Oh, Brawler is good? Isn't Brawler really good? With Battle Mage as well? Because you go Sejuani anyway? Is it the Yasuo Brawler or what? I can't win against Jax anyway. It's a counter matchup. It's too much. It's too healthy. Guys, that Shigiri guy, man. Holy. What's your favorite anime? It's Demon Slayer. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good, Mr. Bongstoner. Yodi Land. Kena Sejuani, her ability stuns. I mean, this is, this is not even... It's not even up to the bait, right? For sure take this. Okay. So now I'm a little bit in trouble. We gotta sell... Probably a Lee Sin, right? Oh no! Oh, that is not good. Uh, who, who gets Brawler, guys? What do you think? Is it Yasuo or is it is it someone else? Is it Malphite or Yasuo? I think it's Yasuo, bro. Especially since he's 3-star first. Has to be Yasuo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, guys. This is not bad. This is not bad. Just need one more of this guy, but I had to sell my Malphites. But honestly, this is, this is exactly what usually happens, right? This is exactly... So... I'm playing a lot of Ash, but if you if you actually enjoy getting better at TFT, I know some people. Again, I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure, but I think some people on YouTube will complain about me playing the same comp, just like they did with the with the dragons, right? When I played dragons. Wait, I'm I'm so far away from gangplank. Oh, ne what? What are these rolls? Huh? <laughs> yeah, anyway. So this is this is where you will be able to learn, okay? What is our best course of action now? Again, during the dragons, people people really um But there was literally nothing else to play. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, there was nothing else to play. But again, people on YouTube Like they, they, it, this is fine. Not everybody, but some people that are that like to get mad in the comment section, um, they like to complain. And they complain about seeing the same thing every day because they don't care that much about the game, man. They don't care about what's the best. They don't mind me not reaching challenger ever. They, they don't mind me staying even in a diamond, low diamond rank and just providing the most fun gameplays that I can, like the most cra the craziest builds that they never see on any other channel. Now the thing is, the thing about that is, you gotta play what's viable, and I wanna rank up. And I know most people prefer seeing the ranking up journey. Let me just think about my item here before we mess that up. I need something real good now. I think I'm really going for a one cost sword, but I think it's the only thing. Again, back to the topic, right? So now, think about this. So. Again, even if you don't understand that this was the only the only line of play for me here. But let's just think about it. So you don't want to watch Ash or Dragons every single day, right? The thing is, if you if you there is a lot of people that just want to get better at the game. 
and they will not understand everything. I don't think I slammed the sword yet. Yeah, I don't think I slammed the sword yet. They will not understand that this comp actually has a lot of nuances. And it has lots of nuances. So, look at this. I could stay level 6 and roll for these guys to 3-star them. But I'm obviously so far away. Sure, Malphite is close. But this guy is so far away. I might as well sell this guy. Like, this is never gonna happen at this point. So, what's better? Well, obviously, it's better to level up and get uh, four, 4 Brawler now with the Sejuani Hero Augment, right? But even if I didn't have the Hero Augment, that would still be the better decision. Even if I didn't have the Brawler Emblem, that would still be the better decision. Because you can put in Mascot, you know? You can put in other stuff. You can put in Mascot and Heart, which makes a little bit of a difference. And um, But staying level 6 all game, which is what most people do with this comp, they play it exactly the same every single game, but it does have a lot of nuances. Like, look, I'm, I am for sure selling the Lee Sin here. Which, again, most people wouldn't do here. Because it's, uh, you know, it's, you're playing supers. You want to 3-star everything. But it's completely out of reach to 3-star that guy. It's truly out of reach. But we do have a duplicator for this guy, so I'm not selling this. I wouldn't even sell it even if I didn't have a duplicator. But yeah. Also, we're leaving this on the ground, so I have a higher chance of finding Sijuani in the pool. Because this is not taken out of the pool. Uh, More dog confused everybody by saying in a tournament that it is taken out of the pool, but he made a Twitter post where he said he checked again and it is not taken out of the pool. So basically, what that means is that orb is a guaranteed Sejuani for you, but all the Sejuanis are still in the shop. So you have a still a higher chance of finding a Sejuani if you leave her in that orb, because again, she is not existing. You know, she's not, she's shrewding her Sejuani. Anyway, guys, I explained this many times, but I think people know it now. I think my Sash dies here. Uh, oh, maybe not. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. We have 34 health. This is not too bad, man. As you can see, it's a very cozy top 4 comp. I didn't even get... Like, I'm still not using my hero augment, right? I'm not, I'm not even using my hero augment, bro. Like, I'm, I'm straight up not using my hero augment. Which is also something that a lot of people get baited. So once you touch the orb, it takes a Sejuani out of the pool. Exactly. Exactly. So once I touch this, the Sejuani is taken out of the pool. And again, in the whole game, there's 12 Sejuanis. So if I take this, there's only 11 left. But if I don't take it, there's still 12. Which obviously means I have a higher chance of finding her, right? Alright, Giant Slayer for sure. No doubt in my mind that it is a Giant Slayer. No doubt in my mind that it is this. And we don't have Magic Pen. What are you guys thinking? I think it's a Static Ship on Yasuo. And then I'm pretty sure we just level up here. Pick her up. Play for Brawler. Pretty sure it's a static ship on Yasuo, guys. Or even on GP. What do you think? What are y'all thinking? Nah, I think it's a static ship on Yasuo. Because Magic Pen is really good for your laser core damage. A laser core emblem would be very nice to find right now. But I think I'm just gonna level to 8. But leveling to 8, what does leveling to 8 do? Well, I can play a Yumi. But then I'll never find the... I actually beat the Jax guy, didn't I? That is very impressive. I, I messed up his Mr. 100. That is very impressive. This guy is a 2-star Mordekaiser. Uh, now I'm not sure what the right play is, man. Is it leveling or is it staying here? That is the, that is the, that is the question here. What is the right play? Is it leveling or rolling for 3-star Malphite? 3-star Malphite is 5% more damage and a better front line. 5% more damage due to supers. I can also hit 2-star Sejuani level 7. Level 8, the chance is higher, of course. I'm just gonna stay on this side. I think we're gonna focus the Mordekaiser. Pretty quickly here. Um, it's a very impressive Mordekaiser though, guys. I realized tank Mordekaiser is really good. Oh, that's gonna 
bonk her instantly. Why did she stop attacking him? Oh, because of the thing, huh? Are we fine still? I think we're fine. Nice. Second wind saved me hard, as you see. That is a second wind biff. Without second wind, I probably lose this fight because my Ash would die very quickly here. So that's good. Okay, I'm thinking here. What do we do? What do we do? Do we stay level 7? Uh, what's up, Norris? What's up, man? The grind is going very well, sir. Let me buy these two. We're thinning out the pool. She's a good level 8 play. It gives us Mascot, but how much difference is Mascot, to be honest? Is there a 5 cost 2 star you can add in if you level? I'm level 8, I won't find a 5 cost 2 star. The good thing is, I think the Z guy ended up dying, yeah. The Z guy died so fast, which is the only counter I have. Not the only counter, it's not like this comp is just completely broken. You can easily beat this comp with a lot of comps, especially the ones that stack out late game. But not, not playing against the Zed here is very rare and very good for me. Like, that is just so good for me. I didn't even expect to go on such a win streak here, so that is not bad. Triple win streak. We're just looking. This guy's almost Jax 3. Maybe I should hold some Jaxes. I think it's this on Renekton. I think it's this on Renekton. I'm not sure. Got you a comp you need to try. It's so easy. I'll read your message after, okay, Mr. Xander? This is a huge message. And if you're watching this as a YouTube video and you're like, oh man, I want to see that comp that he's going to recommend. Don't worry, it will be a YouTube video for sure. 48 to level. I'm going to ro roll a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's great. Just one more Malphite needed. Stupid game, man. I was trying to get the damage right now. Hmm, that's not good. I'm holding Jax because of the Jax player. Oh, he hit Jax 3, okay. <laughs> he just walks up, one taps it. I mean, I'm not gonna beat Jax 3. There's no way to beat Jax 3. I'm just gonna put mascot and we're gonna be chilling. I'm gonna level up to eight now. Lee Sin is too far away. Forty-eight to level. This sells for five, so that is not gonna work. Might get fifth, but fifth is not that bad. Fifth is not that bad, man. I don't have the best items, and I don't have... Like, I don't have the best items on him. I don't have Ionic Spark. I'm gonna just stay in this corner. These guys are playing Talia in this corner here. This guy is one-star Talia. I think I can win. Five-star Guardian only. I think we're fine. Yeah, we just melt the comps so fast, right? And I have, I, I do have the magic resistance. That's really good. Okay, I think we're chilling. This is pretty good. Brawler Emblem is super good for this comp. Uh, laser Core Emblem is also really good because you can go 6 Laser Core at level 8, which is very good. You would just need to put a Z if you had a Laser Core Emblem and Sejuani. So that's a really good, nice, and it's a really good thing as well. That's what I was hoping for from the Tome, but Brawler seems even... Seems better to me just because I hit Shatter, right? But I need a 2-star Sejuani. Which is gonna be a little bit rough to hit now. Because I'm pretty much gonna... This guy already has a 2-star Sejuani. And this guy does... Has one as well, yeah. So only... 
a couple Sejuani's are left. Six Sejuani's. Minus mine is five Sejuani's are left. Uh, it's not going to be easy to find. 18 health is a little bit worrisome. Last item for Yasu, right? Gunblade? Or we can go for an item on Sejuani. Mm, I think Gunblade on Yasu is better. Simply because I don't think I'll hit Sejuani uh, too in time. Okay, that is pretty much all we can do right now. There's no Zed. This guy's level nine, level eight. Lots of uh, in a in an in a in a game with legendary augments like this, where people will easily hit their two star legendaries. It's a little bit hard to play. In a position like this. I'm going to attack him pretty quickly. Not sure how he's going to ult, though. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, I was expecting to Talia to ult this. Yeah, but she keeps ulting Ash. Oh, yeah, nice. Still a win. Still a big win, by the way. Big win. Lots of people survived. Okay, top four. And this guy's almost dead. I'm probably third, which is really good. Again, if you get a third with this comp, you're very happy. Now we just roll down for Sejuani 2. Again, probably not going to happen, but that's all we have left here. It's the only thing we can do. Yep. This only gives me 5 gold, so I'm not going to sell it yet. Move this away from the Jax as far as possible, but it is a 3-star Jax with not the best in slot. You would like the Hodge to be a BT, but it is very good. So we'll take it. Or he, he will take it. <laughs> he will take it for sure. Uh, I, I mean, I do have a Giant Slayer and a Last Whisper. That's pretty much the best combo to kill this Jax. But I just don't think it's enough. Holy, the CC is so broken. Oh, she still died. But that saves a lot of HP, no? Nice. Okay, I just need to beat one of them. And I might get second. Just gotta beat this guy and I might get second. If I, if I beat this guy, I'm second. No cap, because the other guy dies. I kill this guy. Two star, two star Syndra, though. Two star Syndra, two star Janna. But they're kind of supportive units. They don't actually add damage. He needs a two star Talia for damage. Don't think he gets it. Second is huge here, man. Good, uh, good HP save on killing the Jax. Yeah, that was very, that was very good. That was very good. That was, that was one of those games where you get lucky matchmaking. Because you fight the Jax, and then you fight these guys that are just gonna lose. And they can't win against Jax, yeah. And now I'm just- I I'm dead, but who cares, guys? We got second. Yes, boy! That is sick. That is exactly what we wanna see, man. That was dirty, bro. And if there's anything that can win me the game is, uh, is Shroud, but probably not. Oh, Sejuani too. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that, man. I should probably just shroud his Sijuani. Probably better. 
I'm not sure if I should have um, my Ash attack the Jax first. But in the previous fight, it was definitely better for her to attack the others first. Because with that... I, uh, I saved a lot of HP because I killed the small units first. Oh, I win. I, I don't think I'll win. Uh, <laughs> guys, I have 3 health. I, I got lucky with the fight. He has 60 health, man. He has 45 health left. There's no way I win, right? There's just absolutely no way. Maybe I should just frontline her as well. For the battle mage value. Ooh, he got cocked with his shroud. I think it even touches the Sijuani. I mean, that is a, that is a terrible positioning by him. But he can hit two-star Janna, which should make enough of a difference to just win. Oh, but the Jax is not getting stunned this time, which is pretty good for him. But the Yasuo knocks him up. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of units surviving. I still need two more victories. 24. He lost 21. He lost 21. Stage 7, he can lose more than 21 though. If I win one more time. What is the last item we need? Just another Sijuani item. Protector's Vow for a faster ult. Maybe. What weapon do you take on Aphelios? I would recommend Eclipse. The pink one. The stun. A lot of people are just defaulting to that all the time now because it's just so so much utility and he still deals a ton of damage. And the utility is just so good. Because think about how much your team is dealing while the enemies are stunned for two seconds. So oftentimes, even if he has items, if you're running him as your carry, I, I always go for that now. Another shroud. Another shroud or some damage. The gangplank is low key smurfing a little bit. I feel like I'll take the damage, man. Okay, he moved a little bit. Still hitting a good shroud, though. Okay, never mind. It's not that good of a shroud. But this time the Sejuani will hit the ult on him. My Sejuani ult is big. Sejuani is dead already though. But the Yasu isn't dead, so it's a lot of CC. I don't think he dies yet though. Oh my! Stage 7 is so much damage. I cannot believe this is a victory. I cannot believe this is a victory. That was good positioning, but... Like... It, it, I don't know, man. It's still... Bro, it's just Ash, man. Like... <laughs> uh, this shouldn't be a victory. I think it's for Brawler Yasuo. Because Yasuo and Sejuani are so important with the CC, right? And for Brawler Sejuani... And 2-star, as soon as I got 2-star Sejuani, the stun is just too much. You can see how just the 0.5 seconds of longer stun makes such a huge difference. And that's why, um, yeah, stuff like Yasuo as well, having Brawler and heal healing, just knock up. The knock up is so valuable and stuff, especially against a unit like Jax. Uh, I, I think moving forward, personally, I will be building QSS on Jax because that is uh, clearly uh, what would have just instantly won this fight. Anyway guys, subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time.